this morning uh, in Whaler now. Just here for the night while we do a bit of a stock up um, at the shops. And uh, what else we're doing? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> now we're going to check out the, there's some round circle jetty Jeez. thing. So we're just going to head to the information centre, see what's around, do a couple of things before we go to the shop to stock up. Um, we found a, f oh well, not a free camp, low cost camp at the Waruna football, Waruna Bay, I think, football club. I think it's 10 bucks a night, looks pretty cool. It's got designated sites and stuff, um, and one toilet. <coughs> um, but you do have to be self-contained, so, yeah. Oh, we didn't give you an update on the glasses. Unless you're following along on Facebook, then you would have. So glasses did not turn up they were only sent today apparently this morning so they don't expect to get them in Port Lincoln until Thursday um, if it, uh, well considering tomorrow Tuesday is Anzac Day um, so they're thinking probably Thursday so they've offered to post them to us so we just decided bugger it um, let's just get them to post them to Alice Springs and we will pick them up when we get there um, we don't know when we're going to be in Alice Springs, but eh, YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably in a couple of weeks, I guess, um, and they should be there waiting for us. Um, in hindsight, maybe we should have done that Friday, but Saturday and Sunday in Port Lincoln were absolutely beautiful weather-wise, um, so we're really um, glad that we stayed for the weekend. Got to spend a couple more days with the kids, so win-win. Um, the Wyalada Visitor Centre, Information Centre. 